Low tier god. Oh my god. Yeah, that's right. I didn't. I don't. I can't believe I didn't feature this. I forgot about low tier god. So, low tier god had um, some court records leaked that nobody had seen before, and it turned out that he has a ten year old daughter that he has never spoken of ever in his entire life. And it exposed a lot about how um, how he lived, like what he was like personally. Because he had uh, previously come out and talked about how uh, he hates he hates blacks that like give like black people like him a bad name because he's such like an alpha male. Um, and he's upset that those people give people like him a bad name. Um, but he's literally like a deadbeat dad paying child support to a Mexican woman for a mixed race child that he never interacts with he owns despite making a lot of money because i think he's like a popular youtuber he has two dodge challengers which if you don't know the dodge challenger is the quintessential like apex form stereotype black people deadbeat fucking car i don't know what it is uh in polite society we say that it's a drug dealer car but it's a, that means in case you don't know a drug dealer means black person um in english so he, he had two of these and not only that but um he had uh, for whatever reason, he got two, and he owed like sixty thousand on this. So he's like in tens of thousands of dollars in debt, has no savings, pays child support to a mixed race Mexican black baby, he doesn't interact with. Um, is basically just a complete fucking like he's just he's just black. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I've always I've never been able to find low tier god entertaining because I'm just like he's just like a like a stereotype black person like what's the, I don't get it he's not any different from anybody I see like in television on like those courtroom shows he's just like one of them and everyone try to say like no he's not just a black guy but he's really funny he's literally just a black guy I don't get it man. Um, y'all will have to learn to respect my, my instincts on these things. I don't think that anything has happened with this though. I don't know. There's not like a fun video where he's like spurging out and saying like, yeah, that's me. Um, <laughs> like that, that guy that, uh, got found out having a, um, a only fans where he was getting fucked in the ass while dressed in, dressed in drag. There's no video of him admitting to that. No idea who low tier God is. Um, who's this guy? I mean, he's really famous just for these clips. Might be age restricted. Hold up. You are a worthless bitch ass nigga. Your life literally is as valuable as a summer ant. I'm just gonna stump you. You're gonna keep coming back. I'm gonna seal up all my cracks. You're gonna keep coming back. Why? Cause you keep smelling the syrup, you worthless bitch ass nigga. You're gonna stay on my dick until you die. You serve no purpose in life. Your purpose in life is to be in my stream sucking on my dick daily. Your purpose in life is to be in that chat blowing a dick daily. Your life is nothing. You serve zero purpose. You should kill yourself now and give somebody else a piece of that oxygen and, and ozone layer that's covered up so that we can breathe inside this blue trap bubble. Because what are you here for? To worship me? Kill yourself. I mean that with 100%, with 1,000%. Is, is he holding a gun? He's just waving a gun at a webcam? I didn't know that. I've heard the audio. I didn't know he's like, wait. Dude, he's so black. <laughs> Yourself. I mean that with a hundred percent, with a thousand percent. I've never seen somebody so worthless in my life. I dead ass have not seen such a more worthless nigga in my life. If he has kids, oh my god! Imagine if a nigga like that has kids. Like imagine she. Imagine if he had kids and he didn't take care of them or do nothing with them. She. Imagine if somebody like that actually has kids. I would feel so sorry for his children because the nigga literally serves no fucking purpose. 
Imagine a father. Now, we got lots of niggas with wives and kids and shit that suck my dick daily on the internet. But imagine if this nigga actually had children. This nigga's devoting the time he could be spending with his kids checking out a black man on stream. <laughs> it's really ironic when you think about it. <laughs> Fucking over him relentlessly. It's crazy. I've never seen somebody so relentless to be seen. Somebody, somebody, somebody's value so worthless that they'll come into a fucking stream and keep coming in this bitch over and over and over and over and over and over again. We keep banning you, nigga. Let me, let me, let's do you a favor. Let's, let's go to the 99 sister. I'm sorry about the audio, but it's like if they didn't have the audio, this would just be deleted from the, uh, from 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 YouTube because it's. Like against every role possible. Let's pick out a rope together. I'm gonna give you an assisted suicide. Let's pick out a rope together, right? And we're gonna take all the greatest troll clips, put a TV screen right in front of you. I'm gonna hang that rope at the top of the motherfucking garage. What he's saying is actually pretty funny if it wasn't just completely fucking drowned out and ruined my music. I'm gonna. He's gonna like it let you watch funny trolling clips as he hangs you so that you can enjoy I got you. I got it. It's pretty funny. We're gonna forcefully pry your eyes open. I don't even need to do that because you're on my dick day. We're gonna pry your eyes open until you consistently watch clips over and over and over and over and over again to the point this is a little too much. You're just gonna start going crazy. You're gonna start going crazy. Just your eyes are gonna bleed. The retinas are gonna just start pouring out pouring out blood and just getting cracked and the veins and the retinas are just gonna start engaging and bulging. Then I'm gonna grab that rope and I'm gonna say, are you ready? You're gonna say yes. I'm gonna say, pull it! Why you beg me? Beg me? I mean, beg me. But I mean, like, okay, yeah, I got you. This is like, this is like his peak, though. Like he's never surpassed this. It's always like this is the best that he's ever been, and it's it's very samey. It's like he just plays fighting games, and then he's like, she. And apparently he gets super. Apparently this is the thing where he gets super angry about Mexicans, and now that we know that he has a Mexican baby mama that he owes child support to, people think that he hates Mexicans because of that woman. <laughs> so I don't know. Does he play Smash? I didn't realize that he played Smash. I thought he played like the other fighting game. Oh well, that's it. Sorry, I'm not, I can I can only feign so much interest in Love Your God. It's just like he's just he's just a black dude. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.